Hey guys, so I made a video before about questions I was getting about modeling and how to get into the industry. I just received a question asking what to say to an agency when you contact them. Um, so first of all, in order to find agencies, like, you know, you can find them through like, for example, if you go to an agency's page and you see that they've shot, like photographers are mentioned in the post, you can look at their profiles and see what models they've shot with and find agencies through there. Usually if they're shot with an agency model, they'll mention it in their captions and stuff like that as well. Uh, Models.com has a list of agencies, like reputable agencies, and you can search them by location. Um, the next question that I, once again, I've gotten was uh, how to contact an agency and like what to say. Um, if you're reaching out, like if I was reaching out, I would say something like, hi, my name is, you know, you could say where you're based include links to your work at the bottom but you could say something like hi my name is Brit like for example okay my name is Brittany I would love to be considered as a model for your agency photos of my work can be viewed on and then you can put like a link to your Instagram or wherever your photos are listed and then usually I'll attach photos at the bottom of the email as well um like I found the best way to instead of attaching like 100 photos to the email you can actually do a WeTransfer link. So WeTransfer.com allows you to select multiple images to add to your file. And then you can send one link to them or send a direct email. But the link I think is a better option because of the fact that you can actually, you know, instead of having a million photos, they can click on the link and download if they want to. Um, if they want to, obviously. But um, yeah, I think that's a good way. Um, that's how I usually format emails when I'm reaching out regarding jobs and stuff like that. So you need digitals. I'm gonna make a separate video. Ignore my nails, but uh, make a separate video on how to make digit, how to take digitals, because you can technically take them yourself at this point. I've realized. I, I thought that I needed to hire a photographer to take them, but as long as you have good natural light, like you see how like the light's hitting my face right now. Like I'm sitting in the car, but um, you, if you can find a window in your house with natural lighting and stuff like that, you could do that. You could take them outside, like wherever's safest, obviously but you need good natural light. And so I'm gonna make a separate video answering questions on how to like how to take your own digitals. Other thing I need to point out, obviously you do need to know your angles, but like for digitals, it's super easy because you need straight on three fourths and profile. So like that's something that you can take yourself. Um, it's really not that difficult. I mean, it'll save you a lot of money in the long run rather than paying hundreds of dollars to a photographer to take digitals of you naturally. So yeah. So pretty much you can just say, hi, my name is so-and-so, or sorry, no, whatever, I'll just say my name. Hi, my name is Brittany. I would love to be considered as a model for your agency. But honestly, like, I think you can do email and via website because on each modeling website, they have a submission tab. So they have a tab that you can, e it'll either say like become a model or submit to become a model or, you know, something related to that. Like if you look at all the tabs mentioned, each agency site has something about how they're accepting submissions. Either, you know, contact us and they'll have an email or they'll have that tab where you can submit images and then they'll ask for all of your measurements. They'll ask you questions about your location and stuff like that and you can fill that out. But honestly, you can do both if you want. The next question I got was if I like my agency and yes. <laughs> as far as agencies helping people find visas or get a visa, I don't know if that's a thing or not. Um, I know with LA agencies, some, like some of them do work with girls that are out of state. I don't know about out of country. Um, I think you'd have to reach out to them and ask them once you are in correspondence with them, if that's an option, but obviously keep in mind when you're communicating with any business, be professional in how you reach out to them. Like, you know, you'd speak to them in the same tone as if you were applying for a job. Don't say, Hey, do you guys cover that? Like, don't do that. Like, don't keep it super, you know, casual with that. You know, you can kindly ask them however you would ask them about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you never know. I don't know if they cover that, but it's worth a try. But I'm assuming you have to be local to the area or willing to move or able to go back and forth. But I don't know if um, I know there are some jobs with really good budgets, but I think if you are going to travel out of state for work, it should be a job that does cover that expense. Like, unfortunately, not unfortunately, but most jobs are in at 30, so they do pay 30 days out. So if you are going to be traveling for work, I think it's important to make sure you do have money saved up to cover that. 
because if there are reimbursements, they probably won't pay those back until like a month later. And that's minimum. It could be net 60, net 90. It just really depends on the company and what the agreement is for the business. But the larger the job, the longer it is going to take to pay out, unfortunately. So make sure you have the money for that. And I'm, I'm saying that because, you know, obviously traveling is expensive. So okay, next question, um, some things that I did to help get the attention of different brands. Well, first of all, I started out by shooting with different photographers and makeup artists. And I also did some shoots with products, um, not specifically for the companies and stuff, but showing that I can do that. So like, for example, if I wanted to do a skincare shoot, I should do shoots with skincare products so people can see, hey, she has the ability to market skincare products. If I want to do something jewelry related, I should do pictures and videos related to jewelry. You know, so whatever type of photos you want to do, you have to have examples of that because people need to see that you're able to market those products because they're not going to hire you to do something unless there's examples showing that you can do that. Also, I did start out doing like really low budget shoots and some collaborative shoots with businesses so that I could get that experience doing that. And then also so that I could get that experience to show, hey, look, I've worked with this type of product. So now I can say I've done activewear shoots. I've done makeup shoots, I've done jewelry, I've done clothing stuff, I've done hair care, perfume, nail stuff. Like, it's good to have a good, oh, eyelashes, like, I've, I've done, like, a lot of different stuff, but it's good to have examples because people have to see that you're capable of doing that. Like, unfortunately, even if you have two examples of you, I don't know, just, like, commercial shots of you smiling, like, that's cool. But some people don't have that imagination to see, hey, this person would be great doing a jewelry campaign. Like people need to see exact examples of that. Um, even handbags, like you have to have examples of whatever type, whatever type of work that you want to do. Um, obviously, I know if you do sign with an agency, they probably won't. It, it wouldn't matter, but I think it just really depends because like, for example, um, my agency, like when I signed with them, they asked for digitals. Obviously they asked, you know, for me with no makeup and those pictures, I'll explain that in another video. Um, but they also did ask for what portfolio work I had already so that I could show that. And then they, they created like a package of images that they submit to different clients for jobs and stuff like that. And so, yeah. So, I mean, another way to get the attention of brands or if there's any products that you really, really, really like, taking pictures with those products like high quality or even stuff in good natural light like this is good natural light the sun is shining on my face obviously if you are somebody that's sensitive to light and stuff like that don't do it or you have sensitive skin but good natural light shots of you with products and tagging and mentioning them that's another way to get in front of them but as far as like getting um a good budget for shoots unfortunately that would have to be through an agency um some different platforms that people have booked work on in California. I don't know about other states, but um, New Book, which is an app on the App Store. Um, I think there's a waiting list right now. Um, but I think I've been signed up with them for a couple of years. But they have a lot of really good clients. Um, LACasting.com, Casting Frontier, Actors Access. Those are ones that you do have to pay for. But they do have a lot of really good commercial work and stuff like that. So you just kind of have to look through it and see what type of jobs you'd be interested in. But it's definitely a numbers game. Um, the more that you submit to jobs, the more things you'll get. So like, for example, when I was submitting for work, I would submit for like 30 things, for example, in a week. And maybe I would get like five jobs. So it just really depends. But you do need to have multiple pictures on your account. There are a lot of people that have like one picture and they're good somehow. But I see a lot of like bridal stuff. I see jewelry stuff, like commercial stuff with pets. Like, so I think it's important to like, for example, what I did when I made my account, I made sure to pay for the premium one with unlimited photos. So I can add as many pictures as possible to the account. And so that if there are any specific things that they're asking for, I can just go ahead and upload that picture charge free. Because with LA casting, they'll do, I think they charge you 25 for the first photo, 15 for every additional each time you upload. Or if you do 25 or you post one the first time, it's $25. If you decide I'm going to do another day, like maybe another day you come up with another a picture you want to upload, it's another 25. So honestly, I think it's like one something or so to do the unlimited, but you get unlimited pictures. So any castings that you see like, oh, this is a hair care commercial. I'd be perfect for this. You can attach different pictures. So I think it's always good to do the premium version of LA casting. So uh new book i don't know how they are with 
emailing people i mean as far as like the sign up process because right now i think they are on a wait list but i would say sign up anyways because they do i've i've booked a lot of really good beauty and like skincare jobs hair care jobs um e-commerce e-commerce meaning like clothing website like anytime you're going to a clothing website and you see the models on that website that's considered e-commerce whether it's jewelry anything for website okay so another question i got was if it would took forever for me to find an agency and actually it did only because i wasn't submitting myself um my agency reached out to me thank goodness and they found me through maybe one of the platforms i was signed up for but i i do know that there are people it has taken a while to get signed because you have to find an agency that you know is looking for your specific look because obviously we're all individuals with a different look but i think it's important obviously you have to submit to as many agencies as possible but make sure that you're you're submitting to like legit agencies because obviously i know that there's sorry i keep saying obviously um i know that there's a lot of agencies that are fake like any agent first of all any agency that's asking for money up front is not legit. Anyone that's asking you to pay for anything, it's not legit. I have heard that there are larger agencies that do charge you to be on their like board, but I don't know how much that costs or anything like that. Um, but if they're like, oh, it's $500 for your picture, it's not legit. Like they, they should be making you money specifically. They should not be trying to charge you for like, sorry, they shouldn't be charging you like it that's not a thing it's not necessary and it's just not legit you know <laughs> so i know my page isn't super curated now but and i was posting in the stuff in the beginning i was thinking about like when i before i posted something i was like is this marketable is this something that if a client was looking for models would this get me booked so that's what i was thinking about when i first started posting so like any content i put out I was always thinking about businesses that I wanted to work with, whether it was stuff related to that or I'd be mindful of what I posted as well. Like, obviously, people want to have fun. You can live your life, but just be mindful not to post crazy stuff on your social media. That's going to, you know, turn a client away from you because, believe it or not, you can get jobs through social media. I've been reached out to by quite a few big companies prior to signing to my agency. Um, so they are scouting for people on there, but to keep in mind agencies have access to higher paying jobs because let's say mac cosmetics sends you a dm they're not going to pay you an agency rate they may pay you like 300 but let's say you're with an agency i'm giving this as an example because i know a lot of people are like oh i don't need one well they negotiate higher rates because people these businesses unfortunately most of the time they're not going to pay super high rates to individuals unless that person has a really big following or they're like really in love with that person's look but like, I think it's super important to try to find an agency. I know that not every single person is going to find one and it's not mandatory, but I have seen the difference between, like, for example, let's say like there's like an eyelash company or makeup company. They might post a casting on these platforms for like $100, $200, but they might have just booked another model for something else. Maybe like, I'm just going to give an example, like $1,500 or $2,000 or $900. So it's important to keep that in mind. I'm just saying that because they do post different rates based off of where they got the model from. So keep that in mind.